Is it time to buy or sell QQQ ETF? In this video, we're diving deep into QQQ. Our initial report was published on our website on Monday, August 14, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get a free price predictions and deep analysis for anyone among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since August 10, 2023, our system has ranked QQQ as a sell candidate, giving it a score of minus 3.05. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. Surprisingly, the stock has performed better than our system predicted, with a gain of 0.48%. This translates to an average return of 0.16% per day since it was listed as sell candidate. The ETF lies in the lower part of a strong rising trend in the short term, and this may normally pose a very good buying opportunity. If the lower trend floor at $366.96 is broken, it will firstly indicate a slower rate of rising, but may also be an early warning for a trend shift. The current three-month trend suggests a potential 12.58% change over the next three months, with a possible return between 11.55% and 21.41%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a 32.83% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between 20.33% and 41%. This translates to a price range of $445.66 to $522.20 after a year. Our latest daily update for QQQ includes the headline, QQQ ETF price ended on $370.35 on Monday after gaining 1.12%. The QQQ ETF price gained 1.12% on the last trading day, Monday, August 14, 2023, rising from $366.24 to $370.35. During the last trading day the ETF fluctuated 1.58% from a day low at $364.70 to a day high of $370.47. The price has fallen in 7 of the last 10 days and is down by minus 3.47% for this period. Volume fell on the last day by minus 5 million shares and in total, 42 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $15.50 billion. You should take into consideration that falling volume on higher prices causes divergence and may be an early warning about possible changes over the next couple of days. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of ETF was $387.98, and the lowest price was $254.26. Currently, the price is 4.54%, or $17.63, below the 52-week high, and 9.39%, or $38.36, below the all-time high on November 22, 2021, when the price reached $408.71. The following signals have been identified for QQQ. Volume fell during the last trading day despite gaining prices. This causes a divergence between volume and price and it may be an early warning. The ETF should be watched closely. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. The QQQ ETF holds a buy signal from the short-term moving average, at the same time, however, the long-term average holds a general sell signal. Since the long-term average is above the short-term average there is a general sell signal in the ETF giving a more negative forecast for the stock. On further gains, the ETF will meet resistance from the long-term moving average at $373.29. On a fall, the ETF will find some support from the short-term average at $370.33. A breakup through the long-term average will give another buy signal, while a fall below the short-term average will add another sell signal and strengthen the general signal. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Tuesday, July 18, 2023, and so far it has fallen minus 3.99%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Furthermore, 
There is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal. Pivots, sell signal 20 days ago. Bollinger, buy signal 2 days ago. Short-term moving average, buy signal 2 days ago. Long-term moving average, sell signal 8 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 4 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, sell signal 10 days ago. The long-term moving average, buy signal 143 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 136 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for QQQ QQQ finds support from accumulated volume at $367.93 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. In general the ETF tends to have very controlled movements and with good liquidity the risk is considered very low in this stock. During the last day, the ETF moved $5.77 between high and low, or 1.58%. For the last week the ETF has had daily average volatility of 1.39%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for QQQ, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per-share earnings. A relatively low P-E ratio could signal a low expectation for the future of the company or that the stock is undervalued, indicating a potential buying opportunity. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for QQQ. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for QQQ is at $374.39. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, QQQ encounters its first support level at $367.93. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. We have a negative evaluation for this ETF and no stop loss has been set. Is QQQ ETF a good buy? The QQQ ETF holds several negative signals and despite the positive trend, we believe QQQ will perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. Therefore, we hold a negative evaluation of this ETF. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Tuesday, August 15th, we expect QQQ to open down minus $1.84 and start trading at $368.51. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the ETF? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.